Hey guys, it's Frenzy with another summer movie review of the latest Shrek movie. Now before I review this, let's go over a little history of the Shrek film. Shrek film started with, well what else, Shrek. And it, as we all know, this was a very, very good movie. It was a nice, funny, really clever twist on the fairy tale and, well, it was a huge hit, which uh, if it wasn't, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you today. The second movie was crap. I don't care what anyone else says, I thought this movie was crap. It just, it got lost, the pop culture jokes, and it wasn't, wasn't the most kid-friendly thing in the world, and, I don't know, I, I did not like it. Shrek 3, well, uh, it's not, of course, not as good as Shrek 1, but it's definitely not as bad as Shrek 2, and th this one, this one was, uh, this was decent, this was a, this was harmless. Shrek 3 was the harmless Shrek movie. So where does Shrek 4 fit into all this? Well, it's not as bad as Shrek 2, but of course it's not as good as Shrek 1, or even Shrek 3. But, and it's the opposite of Shrek 3. It's not harmless, it's harmful. What do I mean by that? I mean that this movie, the Shrek movies kind of don't know if they want to be for kids or adults. This movie, it's just all over the map. There are some upside some funny jokes but but it's just the problem with the movie is that all the funny jokes are not from Shrek remember the funny Shrek kept with all the wisecracks in these three movies here all the funny jokes belong to either donkey or other random characters that are only in this movie or just some stuff it's just Shrek's not funny in this movie He's, he's not awful, and the movie is funny. The movie has some good laughs, but the problem is none of them come from our main character. They come from Donkey, who I know he's the comic relief and everything, but you don't give every single joke to the comic relief. The other characters have to have some sort of funny jokes, too. Puss in Boots gets some stuff. Fiona gets a joke or two here, but most of the time it's Donkey, and... Don I'm gonna admit, Donkey's improved in this movie. He's very, very funny. But he's not enough to save this from how hideously non-kid friendly this movie is. This is... This is disturbing. Not as disturbing as Alice in Wonderland, but it's pretty high up there. What do I mean, what do I mean by that? They kill people in this movie. Not kidding. People die in a Shrek movie. A Shrek movie. With a big green ogre, a talking donkey, and a talking cat. And almost every movie ends with a musical number, and you're killing people. Whatever poor DreamWorks executive thought of that, I hope you're fired. But... Seriously, this movie, it pull, it's, it's, it's very, very, very disturbing things in it. I mean, main characters die. Who are in all three movies, who you like, who you've laughed at, they die. Am I making this up? Hell no. This movie is ruthless, absolutely ruthless. Lots of people die, and the villain, Rumpelstiltskin, is ruthless. That, that's the word to describe this movie, ruthless. It, It's not trying... I don't know if it's trying to be kid-friendly. There are some scenes where it tries to be kid-friendly. The first half of the movie starts off like a good old Shrek movie. And then it just goes into madness. Rumpelstiltskin is a very horrible, ruthless villain who slaughters people just for fun. Not making this up. I've seen the thing. I'm giving you my honest opinion. He is... He's a good villain, just not for a kid's movie? Maybe for like a Scorsese picture, but not this. It's just... Should you see this movie? Not if you still have respect for Shrek. On its own, it's an alright movie. There are, as I said, there are some decent decent qualities about it, and I like how it does give you, take little twists on the tale of Shrek. Like, You'll see, like, in the first few minutes of the movie, he's like, 
There's a ton. They make a ton of twists and like cover up some plot holes, and you get an answer to the biggest mystery in all of Shrek. Does Fiona have any other hairstyle other than that friggin' ponytail? Maybe it's not a big mystery to you, but to me, it's the biggest mystery of all these movies. And you get an answer here. But it's just... It's not kid-friendly. I, I, I don't... I don't t totally think kids should see this movie. They'll want to see it, sure. I, but the movie's probably gonna make money because of that, but... It's just, if you still have respect for Shrek, don't see this, because it basically takes all these movies and throws them out the window. But on its own, it's an alright movie. As a dark, twisted thing that basically throw, just takes it to put Shrek to the chopping block, it's it's good at that. And I, I'd probably give it maybe two, yeah, two stars. But if you're... Where does it rank on a scale? It's pranks, it probably ranks here, between Shrek 2 and Shrek 3. It's, it's just, there are redeeming factors, but overall, it's just, it can't compensate for how glaringly unkid-friendly it is. It's just, make your own decision. I'm out.